let's find the product of 2.95 and 3.2. Notice that both of the numbers we're multiplying together have decimal points in them. So our first step is to simply ignore those decimal points and multiply the numbers together as we normally would. So set up your numbers as you normally would for multiplication to get something that looks like this. Now multiply everything together, ignoring the decimal points. When we do this, we get an answer of 9, 4, 4, 0. Okay, now all we need to do is find where the decimal point goes in our answer. To do this, count the number of decimals that are in each of the original numbers we were multiplying together. So take 2.95. How many numbers are after our decimal point? We have 1, 2. Same thing with 3.2. There's one decimal. Step number three is to add these two numbers together. So, 2 plus 1 equals 3. Step number four is to actually place our decimal into our answer. So, take the number three that we found before. Start at the very right-hand side of our answer, and then count that many units to the left. So we go 1, 2, 3. Put your decimal point right there. This gives us three decimals after our answer, and an answer of 9.44.